Hey, what's up? Dave Lotman with Northeast Alpine Start, and I'm going to show you how to use a girth hitch uh, for equalizing a two, a three, and a four point anchor. Um, typically when I'm confronted with a two point anchor, like two bolts or something, I usually always reach for my mini quad, um, but I've started to uh, get on the bandwagon with the whole uh, clove hitch thing. So pretty simple. We're gonna clip both pieces, pull down a little bite between the two, like we were gonna do some kind of sliding X, and then I'm gonna take a large carabiner, and I'm just gonna girth hitch the whole carabiner and then pull it tight in the direction of pull we're going to lock this carabiner and different from uh the the mini quad this only gives us one place to clip into this is going to be our master point of the carabiner so that's where i'm going to clove into and then set up my plaquette to belay so if you're using the clove hitch for a two-point anchor like a couple of bolts that are kind of close together you can form it on just a shoulder length sling uh, which is a nice advantage um, once you start building it with a three or a four-point anchor you're gonna to need to reach for a double length or even a triple length. So we're gonna pull a bite down between each of our pieces. And instead of tying a pre-equalized like hard knot here, we're just gonna take our large h and carabiner, put all those loops right through the carabiner to form our girth hitch, snug it down on the carabiner in the direction of pull, lock that carabiner. This is now your master point and that's using a clove hitch or three point anchor. One nice advantage of this tactic is when it's time to break down the anchor, once you remove this carabiner, there's no hard knot here to untie, especially with a slippery Dyneema. Sometimes things can get pretty welded if they've seen a lot of load. Okay, so finally, we're gonna do look at using the girth hitch with a four piece anchor. We're gonna clip all four pieces, pull down a loop between each of the pieces, keeping that stitching up and out of the way. Grab a large HMS carabiner and pass all those bites through the carabiner, loop it over the top to form our clove hitch. Tighten that down, lock that carabiner. This becomes our master point. So I'm gonna clove myself into the anchor on this side. And I'll set up my plaquette over on this side along the spine of the carabiner for optimum strength and security. Thanks for watching.